I really hope I don't forget this poem. <laughs> I was born with an apology in my mouth, and no. I don't hear strange, trapped voices in my head the way I did when I was 12, but sometimes I find myself saying sorry even to the ghosts of their whispers. See, my brain is a shirtwaist factory and it's been overworked. My skull is in embers because thinking bruises me now. Sleep does not come involuntarily anymore. It is more of a command and I I have got these throbbing purple stains on my temples. They are the size of elephant footprints. I, I have been cut in half with a scalpel. I have two internal monologues across my stretched body. They are improvising in two different ways. No, I don't hear strange trapped voices in my head the way I did when I was 12. I just have my own. That itself has become much too terrifying for when you are cut in half, you feel it all. But let me tell you something. I have the same name as the woman Walter White poisoned with ricin. <laughs> My mother says the name means cultured in Greek, but internet sources differ. So last New Year's Eve, I made up my own translation. My name is Lydia. It is the word that flinches when you yell behind your bedroom door. It is the name that grasps onto patron saints and asks for strength. My name is Lydia. It is a peach pit coming apart in March. It is the personification of a snow-colored sky in a desert. My name is Lydia. It means I am loved. It means I am too damn smart for my own damn good. <laughs> but I can work around that. My name is Lydia. It means I'm gonna make it through this. <laughs>